I wanted to set a South African land speed record a few years ago, and I went through a lot of planning with that, and it just never happened. It never materialized. It was too expensive. And, you know, I always had my eye on some sort of record. And the Guinness record actually turned out to be a little bit easier to pull off. It was a huge project, but we still managed to do it. I just stumbled across this existing record in 2015, and I thought that's something I could challenge. So I submitted the, the documents to Guinness and the ball started rolling and then it just kind of happened from there. Guinness hasn't gone back to you as yet uh, in terms of the, whether or not you've achieved this uh, record. But run me through the process of vetting. How does that work? Okay, so once you've discovered a record that you think you can break, whether it's drifting or kissing or who knows, or eating as many hot dogs as possible, you then register with Guinness on their website. You submit an application. They want to know a little bit about you and tell them a little story. And then they get back to you and they say yes or no, whether you can go ahead. You can't just go ahead and then give it to them. You have to be approved for the, the attempt. So I did that in 2015. And then the project started. Then what happens is you can choose to either pay to have a Guinness official come, normally from the UK, and witness the whole thing and then tell you right then and there whether you've got it or not, or you can arrange your own independent witnesses, timekeepers, in my case it was four witnesses, two timekeepers, a surveyor had to come and measure the skid pan to make sure it was perfectly flat, a lot of paperwork involved. Then when you're done and you think you've achieved the record or beaten it, you submit all of this documentation to Guinness electronically. For me it was uh, six hour, almost a six hour attempt, so there was a video, that's one of their requirements, is a video rolling of the whole attempt, non-stop. So we had this enormous video file we had to upload to them. Then they review it, and they get back to you and tell you whether they think you've done it or not. They can come back and say they need a little bit more info or whatever, we're waiting to find out. But uh, we're hoping maybe today, in the next week or so, hoping to get a, a good answer. 